Greetings, Rick Jordan here. Today is May 1st, 2021. Welcome to talk thing number seven. I'm calling this one Moving Stillness. Below this video, you will see some icons. If you like what's happening here, you can click like. If you want to share this video with somebody, you can click share. If you wanna to subscribe to this channel, you can click on subscribe. There's a paragraph right below those icons in the comment section. It's from me, and there's a link to my Patreon page if you would like to make a donation, or you can contact me directly. And thank you for those of you who are donating to what's happening here. Can't do this without you. We're continuing to give attention to anxiety, specifically anxiety reduction. I've been real transparent about my my own history with anxiety. I've struggled with hang, high anxiety for years. Um, and, and then I suffered multiple concussions in early 2015 due to a vehic vehicular accident, which added chronic severe insomnia to the mix. And Insomnia uh, is not kind to anxiety. And basically, I suffered a complete breakdown on December 11th. Consequently, I'm no longer able to pastor churches in any conventional or traditional sense. But I can do this, which is why I am pouring myself into this. Um, so... In the last video, we talked about anxiety and stillness, and we centered that talk around Psalm 46, verse 10, be still and know that God is God. After that video, one of you, a good friend of mine, you reached out to me through email, and during the course of of what you emailed me, you asked if I am still exercising. And that got me to thinking, um, th this friend and I share a lifelong passion for exercising. Um, and yes, I am continuing to exercise kind of maniacally sometimes. It, it, is, it is part of how I manage my own anxiety. <laughs> So yeah, I continue to exercise. But when, when I was thinking about this friend's question and the last video, um, I had an insight. And my insight is that I am at my most still, I am at my stillest. Grammarians help me. I am very still when I am exercising. Isn't that weird? On, on the inside, I am very still. When on the outside, I am doing cardio or strength training or anything else like that, which is why I'm calling this talk Moving Stillness. You may recall that in the last talk, I said anxiety and stillness do not get along, but stillness reduces anxiety. Here's the problem. If, like me, you suffer from high anxiety, if, like me, you are managing high anxiety, you know that when we become still, we also become a stationary target for the anxiety it can catch up with us pretty quickly. That's one reason why nights can be so difficult for me. Once I lay down and I'm physically still. And so I, I wanted to say more about stillness. Um, sometimes there needs to be movement in order for us to be still. Let me say that again. Sometimes there must be movement. There needs to be movement 
in order for us to be still. And I have a little story to illustrate. Years and years and years ago, a friend of mine named Mark uh, said he wanted to take me to a baseball game between our Kansas City Royals and the Chicago Cubs at Wrigley Field. And he bought the tickets and everything. So I met him at the airport. Um, we got on a plane, we, we flew to Chicago, and then we got on the L train, the subway. And um, you ever been on a subway? I had never been on a subway. It was full. And so Mark and I were both standing. Mark was standing in front of me and we were holding on to the, to the pole. Well, that's how I was holding on to the pole. And when the L train started moving, I think I must have looked like a cartoon character. You know how sometimes in the cartoons, they, especially in the old cartoons, they they take the skeletal system out of their characters. I think I looked like that because I was holding on to the pole for dear life and my body was just going everywhere. But I noticed something about Mark, first of all. Um, he was so casual. He was so relaxed. He had been on a lot of subways. Um, and And... I think he was holding on with one hand, almost like he was leaning against it. And then I, I noticed other people, and there were some people who weren't even holding on to something. They were standing. And of course, their bodies were making thousands of instantaneous adjustments, but they were still, and then here I was, well, we arrived at Wrigley, uh, the Royals lost, but the hot dog was indescribable. Wrigley Field hot dogs, especially three of them, are amazing. After the game, we uh, got back on the L train, and it was full and standing room only, and I think I did better this time. I, I, I still probably looked like that cartoon character, but but I was starting to kind of figure it out. And then we got on the plane and, and came back home. So on the L train, I watched people experience moving stillness or stillness in motion. And, and I think the kind of stillness that helps us reduce anxiety, I think it can work like that too. We don't have to be physically still in order to be spiritually still or emotionally still or mentally still. So I want to ask, what forms of movement or motion reduce your anxiety. Actually, let me ask it in the opposite way. What forms of motion or movement elevate your anxiety? Just think about that for a minute. Because I know for me, there, there are some motions or movement, the obsessive compulsive type of motions of movement that, that just make me worse, elevate my anxiety, but are there forms of motion or movement that reduce your anxiety and can bring you internally into some kind of productive, helpful stillness? Do more of that, more of that kind of motion, more of that kind of movement that, that helps you become still on the inside. Back to Psalm 46, verse 10. I 
looked up a bunch of different translations on the Bible Gateway website, and I want to read three of them to you. In the New English translation, it says this, Stop your striving and recognize that I am God. The Passion Translation says, Surrender your anxiety. Be still and realize that I am God. And the Contemporary English Version says, Calm down and learn that I am God. Let me give those to you again. Stop your striving and recognize that I am God. Surrender your anxiety. Be still and realize that I am God. Calm down and learn that I am God. I hope you and I can hear God saying that to us, especially during those times when, for whatever reason, we are struggling with anxiety, or we are struggling to be still. Grace and peace.